Yes, thanks, Adam. In July, President Trump uh, in Helsinki stood next to Vladimir Putin and told the world that he tended not to believe that Russia interfered in the 2016 presidential election, despite the assessment of numerous nonpartisan government intelligence agencies. Why is that? Be uh, because Trump said, quote, that Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial, close quote. The president later walked back the comment, but after being hit with widespread criticism. So Mr. Negron, as a supporter of President Trump, what did you think of his conduct next to Putin? And secondly, do you believe that Russia interfered in our 2016 election? Well, thank you for the question, John. You know, we, we sometimes tend to forget that that's a, uh, you know, President Putin is a former KGB operative. I mean, he's a former hardliner. And for those of us that were in an active duty in the early 80s and, and protecting this country from the Soviet Union like I did, we understand the mindset of those people. So I believe what, what the president was doing, in my opinion, and then he did walk back to comment, which you so eloquently stated, was that I think he's playing a 3D chess game with Putin. He has to. We understand where he's at. And, you know, being as a person that used Intel data, you know, th it's the best intelligence gathering entities in the world. So I believe the president knew what he was doing. Um, and what was the second part, John? Well, do you believe just do you believe that Russia did interfere in the 2016 election? I will tell you that um, I don't think a single vote was changed, but I do believe that they had some ability to put out in social media some things that would make people decide. But I will tell people you need to decide on your own, make your own decisions, and not be swayed by stuff you see on social media. Mr. Boulogne. I believe that they're uh, putting up websites. I mean, that's already been proven. They're trying to uh, disrupt the elections, but as long as they're not stealing votes and hacking voting machines, which I want to get rid of the voting machines. Go on YouTube and you'll see kids hacking every single electronic voting machine that's available. So I want to get rid of those and just go back to the paper ballot, which can't be hacked and has a good record, you can recount it. But yeah, I, I believe they're trying to influence the elections. Ms. Blankenbecker. Thank you. I believe our president, when he was speaking with uh, uh, um, Putin, was uh, being a diplomat, you know, and I think that uh, we have to use our words. You know, having served in the military for a long time and caring for our wounded warriors, I never want to go back to war with anybody. If I never have to care for a warrior again, it would not it would not hurt my feelings. But, you know, and, and that's why I think it's so important that our president is diplomatic and that he does talk with all the world leaders. And so the fact that he was up there even speaking with him, I think, was, um, was uh, laudable for sure. Um, as far as the investigations, uh, you know, into the, we need to let investigations do what investigations do. But I do not believe that there was any Russian uh, collusion into the into the elections. Mr. Levinson. Yes, I mean, if the president would have been adversarial at that meeting, perhaps he went a little bit too far trying to be conciliatory. But if he had been adversarial, he wouldn't have accomplished any goals of that meeting, and that would have set foreign policy backward. And as far as uh, Russia trying to uh, influence elections, it's been clear. They've been involved in hacking. They've been involved in uh, ransomware. Uh, something has to be done. I believe the president has been uh, forwarding the aims of uh, cyber warfare. Uh, defense and that this is something that uh, will move forward uh, as the administration goes forward. There have been published reports of this and that uh, we will see better results, but the president had to act in some sort of conciliatory manner or the trip would have been a waste. Mr. Burns. Yeah, absolutely. Our president's a master negotiator. Oh, you know, what, what is he supposed to say to Putin when he denies it? Call him liar, liar, pants on fire? I mean, that's just ridiculous. And for the liberal media to be out there, you know, just hoping and praying for this sort of like nuclear war or, or another Cold War is is just is just absolutely un, unfathomable and, and totally ridiculous. And the other ridiculous premise is that 16 Russians and a few thousand dollars in Facebook ads actually changed the election. I don't know whether it changed one vote or two votes or maybe it even changed a few the other way. They want us fighting each other and that's what they're getting right now is that Americans are at each other's throats over this, this boogeyman of Russians on the internet. It, it's changed all of us this election cycle on the way that we can advertise. It's much more difficult now to get our message out using Facebook and Google and Twitter because now we have to be confirmed over and over again, send them our license, our passport, etc. And, and then we've allowed now the Russians to win by, by overreacting the way that we have. Mr. Belanger. Um, you know, being a, being a businessman, sometimes you, you, you got to keep your friends close and your enemies closer. And, um, you know, Mr. Trump is a very smart businessman. Um, you know, by being there and creating havoc while he's, while he's with them, it, again, it's, it's the same thing. He, he did a strategic thing. He, <clears throat> he keeps them right where he wants them. 
you know, he's got a plan. He's got a plan for Russia. He knows how he's going to handle it, and he needs support. But he needs support from the people. And the people's voice have to support our president and our administration. It isn't all about one person going to support the administration. It's about getting the the people to support them. And that's what happened during the election. There was no hacking. People of the United States supported our president. 